Hello and welcome. Uh, yes, more, more God of War. Uh, we are on chapter 22 of 30. Uh, we got through five chapters last stream. Uh, so the hope, the hope is that we can get through um, either all of them today or at least up to, say, chapter 28 um, to make for Thursday stream to be, you know, more exciting than just a standard stream. Uh, there's nobody here watching right now, so we're going to jump straight into the game. Uh, yeah, so where we're at in terms of what we're doing is Kratos has just had a second flashback about, um, you know, who's helping him and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we've now got, like, the heart of Orcos or something. It's, it's, it's the heart of somebody. And it lets us create do, uh, doppelgangers, uh, which is somewhat useful. But uh, we'll just push on here. Uh, an entry from the notebook of Archimedes. It is ruined, but I can rebuild. Make it better. My tribute to Apollo will not be lost. Uh, cool. I was wondering for a second why this was rocking. And I remembered it's loose. It's not attached to it and it's literally bobbing in the ocean. So we're about 18,000, 19,000, so we need 25 to get to the top tier of damage. Um, the other ones, so this is the Fire of Ares, I suppose, this is the one I'm using, because um, if we freeze them and then destroy them, we get more red orbs, uh, but I keep forgetting to do so. Um, but all these ones, like, the only reason that I've unlocked more is because it means I can just do more attacks um, Oathstone of Orcos I said the heart kind of looks like a weird heart but yeah um, but I know this is the one I want to upgrade first because it will give me more damage uh, in combat I mean, who could have seen that coming? Oh, enough with the thing, you stupid bastard. Two at once is a bit much.
enough with this stupid thing. So the problem is, the guy with the shield, I can't hurt him until the shield's ripped off. Uh, but because, you know, you have to spam circle a hundred times, I can't actually do any damage. I can't get the shield off before I'm attacked by the other guy. It's very annoying. Goodness for that. I think we're close to another health upgrade? No, okay. Well, I mean, we're close-er, but we weren't close close as I thought. This I knew we were nowhere near. Entry from the Notebook of Archimedes. The sisters are near. I know it. I cannot think clearly. I cannot lose the lantern. My masterpiece. Uh, that's what happened in the last stream. The uh, Kraken, whatever the hell creature it's supposed to be, uh, took the lantern beneath the waves. Oh yay, look. Little egg sacs. Got the flying pains in the butt. See, I'm trying to avoid 
getting into the um, middle of the room and uh, dealing with the exact things. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. So there's two more over there, and I guarantee you if I go near them, they'll pop open. Okay, one popped open. trying to remember what I need to do. Pretty sure I gotta ignite this, put it under the thing which ignites the big pot which gets the oil flowing, but I don't think this is how you ignite it.
foretelling what will happen. Let's not worry about that just yet. Let's see what else is around here. That's what the statue is supposed to look like. It uh, obviously does not. Oh no, poor Archimedes. Archimedes was, of course, the creator of math as we know it. Oh yeah, we can upgrade. It's gonna take. It's gonna leave us like a hundred and seventeen orbs or something. Seven hundred and twelve. Uh, but that'll be the next one, so we get a few more attacks. Right, let's see what this is doing. Nothing too noteworthy. Oh, sorry, I saw a note. Uh, an entry from the notebook of Archimedes. I've sent all the workers away. They cannot be trusted. I will finish it myself. A search for the truth. It is the undoing. Another Gorgon eye. And then the other one will be another feather. Oh. Not that I've used magic at all. So this will ignite this and then we take this to the other next to the other wheel Not that one, this one. Just realized I've done, I put this in the wrong spot. It'll go back where I got it, which will ignite the bigger one. the giant vat of oil Now that that's burning, pop this back over here. So I gotta wait for the thing to recharge. The game doesn't care that I, you know, wasn't in the right spot for it.
So I'm saying, pretty sure we get ganked here. I'm getting sick and tired of this controller. <laughs> the, uh, the X button and the D-pad down don't like to uh, function all that often. It's entirely my own fault. I dropped the controller off the had it uh, sitting on top of the PS3, the PS3 was on an angle and it slid off and it landed on those two points. I mean, there was literally nothing, nothing silly about it, it didn't drop a giant, you know, brick on it or anything, it literally fell all of, you know, 30 centimetres. So, somebody's apparently fine. Give me one second, folks. Turns out it was just a spam call. Yeah. Oh well. So we'll just assume that that guy's dead because you know I can't see him in the corner there.
Oh, well, that's annoying. Stupid little flying vermin thing. Alright, let's see if we can do it this time. took too many attempts. Not the climb up the thing, but getting in there. It's funny, I'm getting some like real Abe's Odyssey vibes right now. So yeah, I, I have to I have to wonder, right? This is Archimedes' pet project. He's you know putting all these things in place. Let's upgrade this one because we use this one more than any of the others. Um, you know he's going through putting all these things in place. You know, okay, cool. The only problem is why is he putting giant chests of red orbs and green orbs and blue orbs in when you know he doesn't use any of that? Nothing to do with him, right? Back to what I was saying before about the controller. It's um, really annoying me that it's sticking. And I can pull it apart and, you know, try and fix it. The problem that I have is that I don't have another one. I lent my second PS3 controller to my nephew like four years ago and I never got it back. roasted alive um yeah and i never got it back um but because i only have the one at the moment i have to do with this um but i did buy uh the other day a, a brand new god of war ascension themed playstation 3 controller and it is on its way so with any luck that'll arrive before thursday's stream
pinballed into those flames. There we go. Um, yeah, so hopefully that controller arrives soon. Uh, and then once I have that one and confirm it is actually going to work, um, I can pull this one apart and realign all the bits and pieces. So, you know, the buttons don't stick. Get out of the flame. So the problem that I have here is And they're all dead and I got roasted alive at the end. Um, the problem that I have with this game and all the other PS1, uh, PS2, PSP, PS3s is the combat is auto locks. And it was a pain when it's a giant room and there's an enemy either side of Kratos and he'll just go for the nearest one. You can't direct the lock on. When you move closer to a different enemy, it auto shifts. But here, it's a teeny tiny little platform and Kratos is in the middle and they're all around. So he's bouncing all over the place. So he's not focusing on one enemy till it's done. And of course, the moment that another enemy gets close, um, it, the, the, what do you call it? The creature, um, you know, he, he changes direction. So you could be literally about to destroy somebody and then he will turn around and start facing the enemy behind him instead. And it's like, that's... See, I waited then, just because in the past, historically, every time I've gone and just, oh, this is what I need to do, I've mistimed it, or something's popped up and killed me at the last second. See, all these pricks and the bloody shields. Let's 
get rid of these guys for a moment. Right. Ah, oh, crap on a stick. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to, to, because you can. Oh, well, two of them. It open. Thank you. I'll take this guy out. If I get rid of this dude... So annoying. At least I got one of them.
Son of a bitch. See, the problem that I have is these guys with the shields, you can't damage them until you take the shield off, but it takes too long to take the shield off. So while you're in the middle of doing that, you're completely uh, at the mercy of any enemy that happens to be near you. And as the game kept spawning in those two lightning explosive throwing little shits, I suspect I've got to do it all over again, including the three elephants. See, that makes me happy because all three of them have lost their shields now. Unfortunately... I think the control is um, seizing up because I can't... Every time I try and swap to the Hades power, which is the one at the bottom here, which is done by pressing down on the D-pad, it just bounces back to a different power up. Oh, it spawned in more pricks with shields. You've got to be kidding me. on a stick.
come on, open, 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 open. In game. It's not the elephants, they're not a problem. The problem is the shits with the shields. I wasn't expecting it to respawn in more of them. This little fecker that's up here that's um, being torn asunder. I meant to throw him at that guy, instead I threw him right off the edge, which I didn't know I could do. Guys, the shields are really pissing me off. Right, so there's two with a shield, a whole bunch of random.
Not him, the elephant. Jesus, if I had missed that elephant, I'd have been really annoyed. shield. Thank God for that. So if you see in the top corner here when I'm changing powers, how it's, you know, Kratos is changing, what I was doing during the fights, I was trying to stay on this one, but it'd go like this. It'd freak out on me, and I don't know why. If, it's, if this is grabbing everything from the bottom of the bloody ocean then logic dictates that I shouldn't have had to be up top here to do it I could have been anywhere and said hey wind back time on this series of objects but you know game logic You are very fashionably on time. Who know? I don't know what you're wearing. You could be fashionable as well. That is good news. I always like waking up feeling better. I swear to God, if I have to do another set of fights here, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, look, I, I will gladly take any sort of illness. Like, I don't care if, I, if I'm throwing up, if I'm shivering, if I feel like I'm, my head's going to explode. I'll have to take all of it. The moment, however, the moment I can't sleep because of it, that's when I get annoyed. So if you can at least somewhat get to sleep, that is, that is considered a win. No, no fighting.
Bad dog. No, off the side. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, hang on. Do I have to do it into the flames? Yeah, I, as I said, I will gladly take anything as long as I can sleep. See, a, a sore throat is um, manageable because, you know, you can have a lozenge or, you know, just have a hot drink or a cold drink depending on the type of soreness. You can deal with it. But if it's like you lay down and then it just gets in the way, then, yeah, heck, heck no. Oh, yeah, no, see, that, that I wouldn't wish on anyone, Steve, that is just the worst. It's like, if it's, if it's the shivering, uh, you know, the fever and still cold, that's fine. If it's the blocked nose, see, you know, you have to breathe through your mouth, that's fine. But together, no. That's a combination I do not want to encounter myself. Oh, that's not fair. He was pointing where I was, not now. that up. Yeah, I've done that, like, so 2022 when I went to the States, I had this massive, like, need to be sick on the plane. Not like, 
I was gonna throw up, but just, you know, that nauseous feeling. Um, to the point where I couldn't, couldn't do much of anything. And in the end, I had my head basically in the fridge of the Air New Zealand first class galley. Oh, I died. Um, so yeah, they, they, because I needed air and for whatever reason on this particular model plane, I think it was this 777ER, like the 777-800. Um, there's no air vents above the seats. They took them away for whatever reason. And I was like a nice airflow on my head when I'm flying because I find the planes are a bit too dry um, and it makes me queasy. So yeah, for, for whatever reason, they, just, they didn't have them. So for about an hour, I had my head, uh, I was down at one galley and I had my head, there's, they've got vents there and I was like this with the vent right here, just getting some air on me. And then after about an hour, they needed space to clean up and everything. So the guy took me down to the first class galley and I basically had my head stuck in the fridge door, letting the cold air from the fridge door blow on me. And I tell you, it made me a thousand times better. See, this annoys me. Like, I can't hurt him when he's like this. It's like, okay, we'll just change to the same effect. No. Are oh, you? I was nowhere near you. Yeah, look. As, as much as I don't like Air New Zealand because I have to stop in Auckland, like, going to the States, it's just an unnecessary stop in my book. Um... Like, on the plane, they, they were pretty amazing. Oh, fuck off with your fucking hammer prick. Jesus Christ, go away. Not you. Him. I don't kill the dog. I want. I wanted the dog. Yeah, I'm. I'm a big advocate for airflow as well. Son of a bitch. I honestly don't recall this section of the game, so I think I had PTSD from it, and now I'm, like, remembering why I don't remember this section. Fucking elevators in video games, man. The biggest thing that annoys me about car heaters and car air cons... The goddamn fucking noise they make. Yeah, I... When did I get one back in June or July? Like, I got a, I got a COVID booster. Um, and I knew, like, I, I was like, I should, I'm due, due a booster. So I've had 
four, I think now. As long as they keep offering them, I'll keep taking them. It is about car, car air cons and car heaters they just make so much noise and i get it little fans always make noise but the fact that my fan on my computer makes no noise right and i sit next to it all the time and i hear when it turns on and everything but with a one in a car you turn it on to its lowest setting and it sounds like a jet engine take taking off right stupid stupid things i was hoping i'd make more progress in this session but with the, the last bout with the three bloody elephants and the shield guys. And now bloody elevator from hell. It's not just the fact that it's a hammer enemy, it's the hammer enemy and these little shits. Because they've got armor on so I can't just grip them and, you know, throw them into the fire like I'm supposed to. No. The damn dog. Use Spartan Kick to disarm certain enemies. Yeah, I tried that before. It didn't do anything. It just staggered them. No, it does on like pissy little enemies, but not like anything, any one of consequence. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, don't rip him in half. Aim for the actual guy, not the bloody flame. I said this before, before you joined Steve, I was in a little corridor fighting um, a whole bunch of enemies at once. And because of the way the auto lock-on works, I was forever getting pulverized by these enemies. Get the dog. Get the damn dog. There's, it's not even effective lock-on. Lock-on in general just doesn't seem to work in this series. I oh know the dog got bounced off the edge. No. Oh, don't kill the dog. No, 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 no. Get, thank you. Oh, you've got to be shitting me right at the last one I died. Yeah, so before I was in this room and it was like, you know, a narrow corridor and there were flames on each side moving in. And all I could do was just attack. And the guys kept coming and I kept attacking. But because of the way the room works, Kratos, or the way the lock-on works, Kratos is constantly aiming at the guy closest to him. So I'm forever fighting to stay away from the flames because they're getting closer. And as they're getting closer, more enemies are, are jumping in. And of course, as Kratos is aiming at the guy ahead of him, three other guys from behind start attacking. And then you just can't do anything. See, this is the part that pisses me off, like... I don't know, part of me just thinks that this game is made by like a B team. Because there's just so many things that are that are annoying with it.
into the fire. Yeah, it's probably a bit of that. Well, oh, not on the platform. I was stuck in an animation cycle and he wouldn't fucking move. As, as I said, like, I, I must have PTSD from this goddamn elevator thing because I do not remember it when I played through it. Oh, the dog set himself on fire. in damn flames. Christ that I'm not Thank fucking Zeus for that. I love how it's it took the captions took the word thank and made it spank. So the captions read spank fucking Zeus. Alright, there we go. I think I just gotta shake my hands out a little bit. Uh, you missed it before too, but uh, the controller is dying. The um, I was in the fight before, and the um, the 
com the thing was doing this, it was rotating through. Um, so. Yeah. I, 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 or I have, I did buy, I managed to buy that, um, new controller. Well, they market it as new, we'll see what it's like when it turns up. But it's a God of War Ascension themed PS3 controller. Which, given the fact that I've still got four more... Uh, actually, yeah, four, five more. Because I'm doing God of War 3 on the PS3. I know it has a remastered version, but I don't really want to put the PS4 up for that one game. Because I've got God of War, the reboot, on the PS5. Um, so, because I've got more games on the PS3 than I have anything else... I was okay with buying it, but it cost me $92 with postage. I'll take my uh, watch off here. Man, that chain was as slow as the elevator. Uh, yeah, again, again, it's marked as brand new, like never been taken out of the box. So if that is the case, if it is entirely brand new... Then I will consider it, you know, a worthy investment. I do have a second one. My nephew has it. He borrowed it years ago and never returned it. But given that they have a, 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 a you know habit of destroying tech, I don't think it's going to be in a usable condition. Oh, look, I have, I have these PS4 behind me. Um, I just, I keep forgetting to buy it, but I need to buy um, a soldering iron to replace. Not that you can see it, it's such a teeny tiny little thing. Um, the HDMI port on the on the back of the PS4 there got uh, damaged, so the pins on the actual connector are broken, and because of that, I can't actually they they can't connect it. So I've got the part. I just literally keep forgetting to actually like repair it. It's not because I'm like, can't do it. I literally just have not. Every time I think about it, I'm like, oh, I should buy that thing, and then I forget. again.
Like, I've uh, repaired my Game Boy, I've repaired Wii Remotes. Um, I've taken a good crack at uh, an N64. That wasn't damaged or anything, it just needed a good clean. But I did that, so... Well, I wouldn't say I do more, like... It's more just that I have the, the stuff to clean it, because I like my stuff to be in, in, you know, good working order. When you say Saga, are you talking about um, retro refurbishments, or...? thought I'd die for a second. I did die. Yeah, look, I've noticed a lot of, because I, I, I jump on Facebook Marketplace and I scour that when I'm, when I'm on the hunt for something. Like I thought just for fun, it'd be nice to have the God of War Ragnarok PS5 controller. Um, and obviously, you know, that came out with the game back in 2022. So it's now 15 months old. And buying one new, I can get one new from Japan for 170 bucks, 150 bucks plus postage, postage, um, or here for 200 secondhand. It's like, yeah, I, w I don't want a secondhand controller. You know, if it's if it's like a you know a NES controller or a Mega Drive controller, where they're like, you know, they don't make them new anymore, then sure. Um, but yeah, if I if I'm buying something like that, I want it brand new. Yeah, look, there's a I've seen countless uh, YouTubers where they're like, "Oh, we're going to refurbish this," and the refurbishment is not really anything but them spraying it with some nifty and then just, you know, wiping it off. Um, but there's one guy. Uh, he he releases a video like once every two months. He's not a very very you know consistent. So he's consistent. He's not a very frequent uh, content publisher, um, but his name's Odd Tinkering, O D D T I N K E R I N G, um, and he refurbishes consoles. And when I say refurbishes, like he pulls them apart, like when he he did a a Wii, and when he put the disc, he was making this god awful noise. And when I say he pulled it apart, he didn't just take the disc drive out. He pulled the disc drive apart. Then he was tinkering with the resistor, the resistor on the uh, on the board, which adjusted the strength of the laser. And then he cleans, you know, all the gears, all the, the, the threads for the mechanism to slide up and back on, um, you know, and then he tests that before he puts it, like, he goes into all the detail. Um, so he's actually really, really good if you like that sort of stuff. Um, but I've seen him do it with Game Boys and DSs and all sorts of things. And then there's this... I'm going to pause it here. There's this one... I see them pop up occasionally and they always manage to find, you know, oh, here's a PlayStation 5 that we found buried in a mud pile. And it's like, why is it, why are you saying it's in a mud pile? Why it wouldn't be in a mud pile? Well, that's the thing. I've, I've shown you the Game Boy before. I'm almost certain I've shown you the Game Boy. Um, 
just in case, let me grab it. Yeah, so the gameplay here, like if this was a second hand, you know, nothing to it, for a hundred bucks, I'd have been no thank you. But the fact that somebody went through, um, they they took the time to, to, you know, get a custom case, get a custom, you know, uh, IPS display and all the bits and pieces that go along with it. The, the fact they took the time to do that means that they knew what they were doing. So I was more than happy to pay for that. Um, but I've seen some, I saw a Game Boy Color oh, a year and change ago, and it was gross. It was grotty. It was, you know, it had like fungus in the in the grooves between the two parts. It was really bad. And someone wanted 175 bucks for it. And all I could think was, is I'm going to have to pay that much to buy a new case to get rid of this thing because no amount of cleaning is going to get that clean. So, um, but yeah, odd tinkering. Let me grab his YouTube thing while I think of him. Yeah, this is just uh, one of his recent videos. Um, but yeah, I, I said, like, he does some really, really nice stuff. And you will see, if you watch that one, you'll see the start of it, you'll see the end of it. And look, sometimes, you know, when he's done, I'll see scratches and I'll see dirt in scratches and stuff. It's like, okay, he didn't quite get in there enough or something. But compared to some of the other things, it's it's in, insane. Uh, now, I've got enough orbs. I'm going to upgrade something here. What have we got? Let's do this one. Um, we've got enough to do this one. Let's upgrade this one too. Oh, we've got enough for an upgrade here. All right, so we need 4,000 there. And who knows how much for the rest of them. These guys aren't annoying so much. Like, when he's in the ground, I know it just to ignore him. Um, the problem is, he randomly spawns in the purple guys.
fuck's sake. The good thing is when you kill the main guy, his two summon things just piss off. That's why like I don't really care about the the red guys or the, or the purple guys all that frequently. It just annoys me that I can't do anything. Cause he you know, if you get rid of them, he might spawn in more. Yay, more health. So I know what I need to do, I'm just curious about how the hell I'm supposed to get this up there. Absolute pillock. So when I was playing Prince, when I was playing Prince of Persia, the Lost Prince for Lost Crown for review, I um, I had. It's it's such a first world problem. And I've got no right to complain about it. I really don't. But I got to this point, and I could not, for the life of me, work out how to get through this section basically had to jump off a ledge then sort of dash under hit a button and then somehow get back up and I could not work out how to do it like I was just absolutely flummoxed and I was like I've got no clue how this is supposed to work right? I could not work it out for the life of me um, and after an hour of running back and forth trying different combinations of things
Well, that's not what I wanted. What's this then? Um. Trying, you know, arrow running back and forth. There was a, a, a warden. I was like, oh, maybe I've just got to kill him, right? So I started going through all of that. Nothing. Could not work out what I was supposed to do. And in the end, I remembered, oh, hang on, I've got this one ability that I've used like twice because the game doesn't require me to, apart from a few puzzles. And that was how I had to get through. Like I said, such a first world problem, but... It is good. If you like Metroidvanias, it's, it's very, very good for that. Um, it has one area. If you didn't like the um, the Emmys chasing you in Metroid Dread, if you played that, there's one section where it's a bit like that. Um, but for the most part, it's fairly, fairly straightforward stuff. Yeah, look, it's, it's a good Metroidvania. There's some... Towards the end, there's a lot of backtracking, but you eventually, eventually get the ability to um, fast travel. Like, you unlock locations and you can fast travel via them. So it's very helpful. Uh, I beat Metroid Dread in 15 hours uh, over the course of the weekend it came out because I had to for review. Uh, I got up to the last boss and um, it was pissing me off. I just could not get it. Uh, and then I stopped to record uh, the Vootcast and then I jumped back in after the Vootcast finished recording and I got two more attempts and then I actually beat him. So it's one of those ones where I actually just needed a break and I was good to go. Um, how the fuck do I get that up there? I mean, just talking about Metroid Dread. Is uh, my Samus amiibo from Dread, and then there's the uh, Emmy amiibo. Just because I was moving them around earlier today, so. Yeah, well, since then, since the game launched, they did put an update in to make um, things a bit easier. But you can't just do it on your existing save. You have to start over. So, if if you if you wanted to play it again, that's an option for you. I 
had no issues with the controls or anything. It was just getting the timing down pat on some of those last, some of those attacks. It was just a nightmare. I've just realized what I need to do. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I think I have an idea on what to do. Fuck's sake, it's a ladder, you dipshit. Um, yeah, I'd honestly, at this point, if I hadn't have, you know, if I was three quarters of the way through or halfway through and I needed to go back, I'd just restart. <laughs> Unfortunately, Metroid games. Uh, this statue is thankfully not full of annoying little bug things that the uh, Hecatonkris was. Um, but yeah, Metroid dreads any, any good Metroidvania half of the battle is trying to remember where things are and if you come back after a year off you're not going to remember so all right we'll watch this cutscene and then we'll we'll end stream for the day Okay, apparently we won't just watch that cutscene and then do. Yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't... In terms of the mythology, it doesn't make sense to me, but... Thank you. 
Yeah, but it's not. It's not. A chimera is generally considered. Yeah. Um, lion, head, snake tail, goat body, or goat head, goat body. Um, I think this is they're trying to make this a manticore, but it doesn't make sense to me because a manticore doesn't have wings. It's got a scorpion tail, which is what a manticore has, but this is a two prong one. So maybe, maybe this is some sort of version of, you know, of some weird thing that they're doing. Let me just see if I can find it. Um, according to the God of War wiki, it is a manticore. The Manticore is a flying sub-boss presented with a lion-like face, the jaw of a shark, which can become unhinged, dragon wings, human arms and torso, a scorpion tail and scorpion-like plates along its back. Um, I wouldn't have pegged this as a Manticore. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's. Well, actually, I am saying it's not a manticore. Um, if you look up manticore on its own outside of God of War, it doesn't look anything like that. Well, Miriam Webster's specifies a manticore is a legendary animal with the head of a man, the body of a lion, and the tail of a dragon or scorpion. So it's somewhat close to it, but there's um, traditionally no wings. So, oh, again, you know, they're not, they're not literal faith, you know, 100% recreations of um, everything that's happening. Did it save before? I think it did. I like how things safe and save are the same words. Be quiet, Indiana Jones. eyes of truth, the very same eyes my mother's ruthlessly pulled from her. learned of the plot between my parents to overthrow Olympus. I could not believe Alethea's words. Then she shows me the truth. That the god of war would bring down the very walls of Olympus. Different god of war though. I knew I must stop them. I mean, it, yeah, the god of war does take down. But when Ares learned of our attempt, he sent my mothers after us. The eyes were brutally ripped from my beloved. She became a prisoner in her own temple. Ares and my mothers knew that if the eyes of truth were hidden, then their wicked plot would not be revealed. Then soon they would reign over the gods themselves. Yeah, but Orcus dies at the end of the game, so I don't think he cares. To keep their plan in motion, they need you back, Spot. They will stop at nothing until you return to Lord Ares. Ares will have to find another to do his bidding. I know you will set things right. Come on, let me save it. Just want it to stay cute. I love this. Like, oh no, Kratos can't can't get in here. He's too big to fit in the gap. That's alright. Uh wrong thing again, because I keep hitting the wrong one. Let's quit and just see what chapter we're on. I think we're on 27. With all the names that have popped up, I think we're on 27. 27! Waha! Uh, so Thursday's stream will be the final stream of Ascension. Uh, you know, knock on wood that we get through that one. 
swap to here. But yeah, um, good progress today. I, I was hoping for 28, but I'll take 27. Uh, let me just, I want to press square and see what happens with this. Are you sure you want to leave? No, we're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, so one, one more stream for here, which should be good. Um, uh, for Ascension, and then we're on to God of War, uh, the very first one. Uh, no, sorry, not the first one. Uh, Chains of Olympus is the next one. Um, uh, so, with if all goes to plan, that'll be on Monday. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, if you did watch these live, thank you for watching them live. If you were watching the replay on YouTube, I hope it was somewhat entertaining for you there. Um, I do need to eventually get those up. I'm being slack on them. Uh, otherwise, we'll catch you... Oh, sorry, in the meantime, this week, we've got uh, three reviews, four reviews coming out. Um, to, uh, one, the embargo's already passed. That's what Steve's done. Um, three will be at embargo. Uh, and there's a fifth one in the way on the way and a preview on the way there's so much happening this week um who says january's dead uh but yeah so lots to do so we're going to end the stream here we'll be back on thursday for hopefully the final stream for ascension uh, and then on monday afterwards after that we we're back with uh, ghost of sparta uh, if you watch live thank you for watching live uh, otherwise we'll catch you when we're online next time but until then happy gaming <laughs>